here we go. She's looking fantastic. So now our touch-up's complete, and we're just gonna bring that extra little bit of pop to the picture that I was talking about um, that we did earlier. What we're gonna do here is I'm gonna I'm gonna create two layers um, from this layer. So we're gonna go Command J to make it one time, and then we're gonna go Command J again to make it another time. Uh, we're gonna change this one here. We're gonna call this one B and W for black and white because we're gonna make that black and white. We don't have to make an intricate black and white. This is gonna be this is gonna be a um, it's just sort of an adjustment layer. It's it's it, you'll see. So I'm gonna go uh, Command Shift U to desaturate it. So if you didn't get that, it's uh, Command Shift U, all right? And then uh, that's gonna desaturate the picture. You can see it right here. Now, this didn't change. We can't see that yet. Now, if I turn this layer off, you'll see there it is, desaturated. So there's the layers coming into play again. This one's in front of this one. Now, this one's in front of this one. So if I turn that one off, you can see that one. So here we go, here we go, here we go. So everything's back, okay? Uh, now, this layer here, we're gonna change its blending mode. Now, the blending modes are right here and uh, I can change it to, there's different ways that you're that, that the layers are gonna interact with the layer beneath them. So darken does this weird thing, multiply, it, it brings, it, it uh, multiplies the pictures by themselves so it makes it darker. And all these, they're separated into categories. Darken's at the top, right? So all these right here in this category, you'll see they're separated by a little line. All these darken the picture. Here's lighten, all these lighten the picture, okay? And now what that does is, is it, uh, uses the, it uses whatever's beneath it to lighten it. So in, since it's the same thing, it's lighting it up. And uh, it's lightening itself by itself. And, like It's using itself as a reference to lighten itself. It, it, you'll, you'll understand after you do it a little bit, okay? So these all lighten, okay? Um, right here, this is uh, overlay. Now what an overlay does is it's a mix of darkening and lightening. It darkens the darks and it lightens the lights, which brings contrast. So this is like a super contrasty image. Now if we go soft light, it does it in a different way. So it's still darkening the darks, lightening the lights. We go soft light here, whoops. And we can go hard light here. And we can go vivid light. So so this is something that, you know, we can do in order to change the blending modes of the pictures. Now what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna use this one and I'm going to change this top Megan to soft light. Change this bottom one also to soft light. All right, and it gives you this really funky looking picture, okay? But what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the opacity of this, and I happen to know that it's going to be right around 12%, between 12 and 20%. So I'm gonna go with 16, and we're gonna go to the same place with this one, and you'll notice as I drag it, it changes, and, and you see the, the, the image is coming back. And so I'm bringing in, the colors are getting bright, brighter, and it's weird, you use a black and white to get the colors brighter, but that's just the way you do it, you know? So uh, if I bring this one up, you see that contrast changes a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it down, 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 and let it be alive in there, okay? So now I can turn these two off here, and you'll see that it just gives it a little bit more punch, and it, it brings the colors out, makes the darks darks, the lights lighter, and it, I think it's beautiful. So this is a technique that, um, that I use a lot, just to, it, it gives a different feel to the pictures, okay? Um, it's beautiful, and uh, you know, it works really well. Now, I actually got ahead of myself, okay? Um, this is something that you wanna do after you've already touched up the picture. So let's go into touching up the picture. So now our touch-up's complete, and we're just gonna bring that extra little bit of pop to the picture that I was talking about um, that we did earlier. So I'm gonna go through the through the effect pretty quickly. Here we are, here's our Megan here, and we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, make two more layers. So we're gonna go one, two, we're gonna make this one black and white. Alt Shift U to unsaturate. Um, I mean, Command Command Shift U. Uh, Command U brings up the saturation dialog box, but like I said, you know, you don't use those for for things. Uh, you know, this is our hue saturation that we do for for our um, adjustments up here. But for here, it's not important. Um, so we're just gonna go Command Shift U to to unsaturate. We just need a black and white. It doesn't need to be super fantastic and fancy. Uh, now we're gonna bring this down, like I said, to you know 17%. We're gonna take this Megan up here and we're gonna bring her down to about, whoops, same thing, about 17, 20%. And we are gonna change the blending modes on these Megans. So we're gonna get this one here and we're gonna change the blending mode to soft light. And we're gonna get this one here and we are gonna change the blending mode to soft light as well. Now, we're gonna bring this down just a little. 
and this down just a little. And I kind of actually like this one normal, so we're going to see what it looks like. So there it is normal, which it's cool. It, it, it kind of like, uh, it's taking away some of the vibrance of the colors, but I like the look. I like the feel of it. So, you know, whatever you like, you can go with. So, you know, I'm going to say that I like this right here better than I like that. It, that's nice, though. They're both beautiful. They're both very nice. Now, we can save two different files of these. You know, we can save them as one, save it as the other, and we'll have both different ways. Um, but I personally, I like them. I think they look beautiful. So, we're going to, it's, it's, it's easy to think that Megan looks beautiful, you know. Look at her. She's beautiful. Anyhow, check it out. We are going to, um, now that we have this like this, it's beautiful. I love it. Um, I'm going to make a, uh, this is going to be, this is awesome right here, okay? Okay. <laughs>